Thursday manna. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, what it means to bless the Lord. So let's begin in prayer. So join me. Father God, we thank you again, Lord, for an, um, another opportunity to turn the pages of the Bible and, and get some encouragement today and some instruction. And so we just praise you that you have given this for us. Um, and we pray for that and thank you in Jesus' name. So today we're going to be in Psalm 103. And I'll just go ahead and read through that real quick. This is a psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed and makes known his ways to Moses. He is acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. And far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. For as, a, as for man, his days are like grass and a flower of the field. So he flourishes, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone. And his place remembered it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to keep as to such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels who excel in strength, you who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his host. His, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. So clearly David has um, spending a lot of time here um, in this section of the Psalms. Um, and he uses this phrase, obviously, repeatedly, bless the Lord, O my soul. And so what does it mean to bless? And even more, what does it mean for for us to to bless the Lord, you know, I think we can get caught up in wondering, well, how do I bless the Lord? You know, I don't, you know, have the ability. Am I even capable of, of blessing the Lord? Um, there's even this popular song um, that's based on Numbers six twenty three. It's called the Blessing. Um, you know, and so I think it might help us if we think a little better um, about the Lord blessing us, right? Like we receive many blessings from the Lord. Um, and David even recalls some of those here in, in this psalm. But, but how do we bless the Lord? So first, it might help us to know that the word bless in, in this passage has the idea of it to, to kneel down um, or to praise or to salute. And so from there, we can, we can understand this psalm just a, a little better, um, that this is what David is doing throughout the whole psalm is he really is um, praising the Lord. He's saluting um, or recognizing God's uh, working in his life and the life of Israel and um, throughout history. And he's also humbly acknowledging um, what God has done. And so in short, um, he's really um, acknowledging that God um, is the source of the fullness of life. And so, you know, he, he reminds us he, he's praising the Lord because the Lord forgives iniquity. He, he heals, he redeems, um, and he does all of this out of his loving kindness and his tender mercies. And so David further recognizes um, that, that God, that the Lord, executes righteousness and justice for the oppressed. And so um, that's a claim that many are making um, today, right? That, that they 
or that their system or that their group, um, that they are the only ones that are going to be able to provide uh, the justice that we all deeply feel um, that is right um, for the injustices that we see around us, right? So there's no doubt that there's um, not injustice in the world, right? That there's not um, pain that's inflicted, right? Man's inhumanity to man is um, quite evident and on display. And so the cry of our heart is like, where is the justice for that? And what David is reminding us is that justice um, comes from the Lord. And so, um, you know, we want some sense of normalcy or security um, that we know that the, the wrongs of the world will be put right. And so, um, while we, you know, can, as, as uh, mankind, we, we can and we should do our part, right? We are called, you know, to seek justice and um, to love mercy. And, um, you know, even in that, you know, loving mercy and seeking God, um, loving our neighbor as we love God, that would go a long way to restoring justice in our world. But we are also called to walk humbly with our God. And so... Um, claiming that, that you or, or any other um, human being or organization or system is going to provide that ultimate um, fulfillment of justice really um, is it's kind of robbing God of the blessing that he deserves, right? It's robbing him of that recognition that he is the final um, arbiter, right? We know that vengeance is, is, is the Lord's and um, setting wrongs right is the Lord's. And sometimes he uses mankind to do that, but it's not in a man or a system or an organization that we seek to um, wrong or right the wrongs of, of our world, right? We, we look to the Lord to ultimately do that. And in the meantime, as we occupy as believers and we um, act as human ambassadors, we spread um, the good news of the gospel and we um, love uh, the Lord our God, and we love our neighbors as ourselves. And so um, I hope that that encourages you today to continue to bless the Lord in all that you do. And so uh, we just um, look uh, to the east, as a friend of mine says, look to the east for his return. And thank you. Mm -hmm.